Hello, welcome to Simplexity. Uh, this is our Vancouver, Washington office in the Portland, Oregon metro region. We're just about 15 minutes north of the airport. Um, so this is our front uh, entryway. And here we have Marion. Uh, she is our office manager and uh, accountant and does all sorts of uh, tasks to make the office run well. Over here, we have uh, what's typically our conference room. And you can see our conference rooms are actually named after squirrels. So this conference room is named Cyprus. Um, we'll see the other conference rooms. And as you can see here, we have now, during COVID times, turned a conference room into a build room. So here at Simplexity, we design and build um, all sorts of hardware. Stephen over here is assembling some parts. Um, he's a mechanical engineer. And so not only do our engineers help des uh, design and figure out what to do, but once the parts are in, they help put them together and make sure they actually work. So we don't do high, high volume manufacturing, but we do always build a few to make sure that they work and they come together. And so we have our engineers uh, help do that. We also have technicians in, uh, that sometimes do it once it's, it's proven out. But when the product is just being designed, uh, there's always things that don't work. That's part of the design process. And I know um, a number of you are familiar with the design process and then you know, putting things together, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work is always part of that process. Um, some of the other um, items we have in here are uh, things that we've designed. So this is a mechatronics board and this basically acts as a development board. So when we were designing, for example, the 3D printer, the firmware engineers need to write the code, but if they don't have a board to write the code, they have to wait for the electrical engineers to design the board. So this board kind of serves as that board to do the development on, and then, um, then we convert it to an actual production board that would go into the product. This here is a battery. It just looks like a double A battery, but this is actually for um, OSEA, and they have wireless charging. So basically this is called the forever battery. And we designed the board and you can see this really tiny, tiny board that goes inside of that. And so if you've got a product that normally needs AA batteries, they have a module where it'll charge it wirelessly. So there's a module in the room and it charges the batteries um, without touching them. And so they, this battery will stay in the product and it'll keep charging forever and ever. Um, some of the other parts that we've designed, we've got, this is an older, wearable product from the Microsoft Band. It's now been discontinued, but um, this Microsoft Band um, has a metal part in there. That's the structure. And we designed, um, our mechanical engineers designed the sheet metal stamping to have that stiffness. And we also did a lot of finite element analysis to make sure that as this flexed many, many thousands of times that it wouldn't break. This is the disassembled uh, valve VR system. And so um, we had a lot of electrical engineers who designed all of these flexible cables and these boards um, that go inside. And then we did some of the firmware inside of the, um, the unit. This actually sits, uh, this is part, you can see the goggles. And so our team designed all of these parts that go inside this VR headset. And then we've also done uh, this product, which is a uh, strobing glasses. So what this is used for is, um, and this doesn't have the strap on the back, but you put it on and the glasses strobe on and off. And so if you're trying to train for, let's say basketball, you actually wear these during training. And so it makes, you, uh, makes your brain interpolate and makes your brain kind of have to react faster because your vision is blocked and there's a correlation between your vision and your brain. So as the ball is thrown to you, your vision's blocked for just a fraction of a second. And so then um, you can react faster. And so then during the gameplay, you don't wear the glasses. This is just for training. Then your brain has been trained just like your muscles are trained to react faster. And there's also medical applications for this uh, product. So that's, that's the housing. We designed um, that as well as you can see, here's the lenses with a flexible cable uh, that's attached to that. And then over here, this is how these parts are made. They're made all together in one panel. And you can see there's five of them, and then they get punched out of this panel. And very early, uh, these are rapid prototype uh, parts as well for the, the glasses of how they looked. So this is 
uh, early prototype parts of that, and that's the case for this product. So over here, we have uh, what looks like a printer. It's called the HP Envy. And what we did actually is we uh, redesigned this printer with uh, HP to go on the International Space Station. So it couldn't have glass, so the glass got replaced. And then we had to figure out uh, the trays so that the paper wouldn't float away in a zero gravity environment. So we, ha we redesigned uh, the trays, figured out how the paper would go. And there's actually uh, two of these on the International Space Station right now that Simplexity designed and built. There were a total of, I think, 24 that were built, and we did build, build all of those um, at Simplexity. All right, let's keep walking down the hall. All right, so now we're walking through the main hall of the office. We're gonna walk back towards uh, the machine shop. So as we go through here, you can see that we are here in our machine shop, and here we have uh, Chris. He's our production supervisor. Hi. How you uh, doing? And, uh, and Chris will maybe give us a little bit of a tour here of what happens in the machine shop, and sure. then um, maybe he can kind of show some of the things that he yeah. does. He's also an expert machinist. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually uh, getting ready to mill some features on a product on our, our mill machine over there, and... Um, I'm just calculating some of my moves right now. So, uh, you know, there's CNC machines that are prevalent in the world today, but we have a, you know, a manual machine. So I actually have to kind of calculate what I'm going to do before I do it. But other than that, it's great to have the machine available for us to be able to do quick turnarounds of, you know, prototype and experimental parts. And, um, if you want to come over, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So uh, right now I'm making a, uh, a clear polycarb panel for the front of a test machine that we're working on. So I've cut out a center hole in it. I have it clamped down. I'm getting ready to machine a groove all around here where there's going to be some other components that fit into it. So again, I have to calculate those moves with the, the size of my end mill and so on and so forth so that I make it in the correct feature. So, um, so this is our milling station. We have some common tools, your drill press, your sanders, uh, work station here in the center with some presses that we can put in bearings and dowel pins, things like that. We also use it with a with a deburring tool. So a lot of times we're doing prototypes. So oftentimes we have to kind of come in and just sort of, you know, make clearances and hog out things to uh, make them work the way we need. We've got a hydraulic press and um, we have around the outskirts of the building, uh, we have supplies. So we've got screws, washers, uh, taps, reamers, things like that. Um, we have uh, some bar stock and we've got a cutoff saw that we can cut small lengths of things that we then, uh, like bar stock, that we would then be able to put into the lathe and cut some shapes and make, you know, custom parts, standoffs, uh, whatever we might need for our, our tests. So this is another area. We, we, this is our uh, electrical engineering uh, laboratory. Um, Pretty much the EEs come, they have their set of tools, uh, analyzers, power supplies, things like that, uh, high, uh, high power scope. Um, they're, they're able to grab boards and do lots of custom soldering and even little tiny surface mount type of things. So we have a really talented group that is able to do a lot of good work on, uh, on our boards that we're producing and and uh, and then we have a, a little bit of an inspection area here for doing simple things with gauge pins and micrometers and and calipers and and uh, that kind of thing uh, we've got like force gauges down there that we use quite a bit in the in the business to determine you know how things are um, uh, this is set up right now. We're doing a little run out, uh, accuracy run out on a, on a part that, you know, we just put on there and spin around and measure it with the, with the, uh, 
indicator to see, make sure it was running out true. So now that you've seen the EE lab, um, this is a secured conference room, so we actually do need uh, key card access in order to come in here. Um, sometimes we have top secret projects. Right now we don't, so I can show you what we have. And the top secret stuff we do have, we actually cover up. So you can see there's some black tarps and, and, and cloths of things we can't show. Um, but this allows us, uh, for some of our clients that um, can't show the uh, projects we're working on, because we're doing a lot of development before products are released to the market. So it's early on. And so a lot of times the projects are confidential and we can't show them. But this room is, um, again, a, a build room where we put things together. And this product we can actually show. So this is... Um, the uh, Sterifree Aura unit, and we're working on this with uh, Sterifree is the client, and Aura is the name of their product. And what this is, this is a, a disinfection device. So this is going to go into um, doctor's offices and hospitals. So instead of the um, staff having to use wipes to sanitize the stethoscopes and even electronics and cell phones and everything, they would put all of those items into this device and they would press a button and then um, it does a disinfection cycle and this um, product uses um, hydrogen peroxide to disinfect it so it doesn't have to like a uv disinfection has to be point of sight and this actually encompasses uh, whatever needs to be dis disinfected and so we are doing a redesign on this product to uh, reduce the cost the weight make it less um, loud so kind of make it a quieter system and so we're doing all of the system analysis on um, all the components that are uh, going in there, uh, doing the mechanical design on all the ducting design, uh, the electrical engineering, um, and the firmware as to how to control um, how to control this unit. So that's something that we're working on here. And so that's why we have it uh, different states of disassembly, since we are doing some analysis as to what needs to change in order to make this um, project even better. And then over here is one of our engineers. Um, DJ, and he's doing some work as well on this project. So he's just uh, pulling up some code on his machine. Uh, so you can see that. Testing the, the blowers to make sure they are functioning correctly and getting the flow rate that we need. All right. Awesome. Thanks, DJ. Okay. This is uh, going back out to our main engineering area. And so as you can see here, this is a wide open area. We have it wide and open for collabor uh, collaboration purposes. Right now, we only have a few engineers here in the office. So we have Vito. We, you, know, you can turn around and wave and say, say hello. Um, so we, we are required to wear masks again during COVID. And normally, we'd have engineers at every um, space in the office. But because of the pandemic, we are encouraging everyone who can work from home to work from home. And they come into the office if they need to build hardware or put things together. But in general, the design work can be done very well from home. So let's just walk around this room a little bit. And you can see uh, some of the other areas. We've got another entryway here. And then you can see there's parts on people's desks. Um, and that's because it, when you do design, you're also putting things together. We're a very hardware-oriented company. So the uh, electrical engineers have boards. The mechanical engineers have different mechanical parts. The firmware engineers sometimes are debugging hardware, and so then they're also um, uh, having to have the hardware and they're writing different code to see how, what the reaction is of those units as they're writing the code. Um, and then over here, we have a couple engineers, and again, most of them are at home, but we've got Michael over here doing some work. And then um, again, a few uh, more empty desks, and then we've got Tristan, he's a mechanical engineer, and then Amy is over here as well, and uh, Amy's another mechanical engineer, and she's looking at some parts that she designed, um, how those are going to work, and then you know she's got the CAD on her uh, machine that she, she can uh, look and compare and see how those parts came together well. All right, and then that's kind of the main engineering space, and we also then over here, um, have our uh, VR room. And so in, in the VR room, we have uh, the Valve uh, headset. We actually designed this headset, so we did a lot of the electrical and firmware engineering behind this headset. And so we use this room to then test um, how that's working. And then it's also a little bit of company culture and fun that we have this VR room set up so if the engineers are done with their work and they need to uh, relax a little bit and unwind, they can actually come in here and play a little bit of uh, VR games. 
Well, that concludes the tour of this office. Thank you for joining us today. We're walking back out the main hallway. And um, again, if you have any questions, you can visit us at simplexitypd.com on our website. We are a product design engineering firm, and we're very pleased that you could join us here. Thank you. <laughs>